Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing good today. It is officially the end of the month. I cannot believe. I cannot believe November is over. It's gone by so fast. So anyways, once again, T.I. and King and the whole crew, they're trending. And I'm starting to give this situation the side eye. So I need y'all to follow me to understand why I'm starting to side eye everything, including the fight that went on the other day. So if you guys don't know, we talked about the fight. Um, then I did an update video showing that, you know, King was into it with his parents that's who he was arguing with ti had to put hands on him and everything else and in that video i had showed y'all that he had basically commented on social media that he's over social media he's over you know everybody having an opinion and he basically said fuck this internet talking about the family tied like a knot we all we got for life. I'm a ride to the heavens or the depths of hell about my junior. Ain't nothing going to change. Now tune in to the new episode of Goat Talk with me and my junior. So he had posted that the other day. And then literally the next day, um, they were all posting that King had a song out with Domani. And so King was also promoting this song as well. And this is what King wrote. The song is called Father Like Sons featuring Domani. And he says, tonight at 12 a.m., be ready. I'm speaking my life story. Y'all ain't see that on TV. I don't give a F about what nobody say about me. If you know me, you know how I stand on business. Hope y'all enjoy. Tell the media to post this since they need a story. So that was what King had posted yesterday. And so what else was very interesting is that on top of them doing the complex goat show where they talked about, you know, his Waffle House incident and a few other things um, during that interview. Today, there was also an interview with King and T.I. with Ricky Smiley. And in this clip, basically Tip is telling Ricky Smiley how impressed he is of King's acting abilities. So y'all go ahead and check out these two clips right here. Or did I side at the Waffle House? The man threw to my food on the ground. <laughs> hey man, but you hadn't even bought it yet. I did buy it. I bought it, gave it to me, cooked wrong. It had pickles on top of it. I never seen nobody put pickles on top of the sandwich. How much more advantageous would it have been for you to just ask the man, sir, could you remove my pickles, please? I asked him. He threw it on the ground after I asked him. What you mean he threw it on the ground? I said, yeah, this this not right. I ain't, I asked for no pickles. Can you redo it for me? Uh -huh. We ain't got to redo it. We, we, whoa, what you mean? I paid for it. Wham, throw it on the ground. OK, well, whoa. can I have my money back? I go to another Waffle House. Yeah, see, in the moment, I'm thinking a <laughs> nigga just threw my food on the ground. <laughs> That's Waffle House food, man. <laughs> it's principle, money, man. though. It's principle. Man, I feel you, man. But then, man, working at Waffle House. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's your part in the movie? Um, Trent, uh, young nigga from the apartments, you know. Would you watch your language? <laughs> I thought we took that word as ours, man. Um, a young, a young, uh, kid from the apartments and, uh, picking up game from the apartments to set right. the environment, the people in the environment, and, um, what to do and not to do. I was very proud of him. He did, yeah. he did, he did, he did a surprising great job, man. <laughs> you know, and what, yeah. and what, what, the way he part? carries himself, you wouldn't think that he'd do such a good <laughs> job and commit to a role, but he did. I was extremely impressed and surprised with his performance, especially right. afterwards when I got into the edit role. Right. Know, when, uh, all right, so you guys just saw those two clips. So now what's even crazier is that basically T.I. is once again going viral for popping off at this club called Eleven. So let me go ahead and break this down to y'all. So if you guys do not know, in Atlanta, they have a really bad where they just like to promote a bunch of nonsense. If y'all don't know, in Atlanta, a.k.a. Wakanda, honey, they like to like take just different situations, viral situations, you know, 
people, place, or thing, and they will make it into a damn party flyer. We've seen this time and time again with the MLK flyers. We've seen, you know, MLK's Sunday Supper. We've seen MLK Freedom to Twerk Party. These are real legitimate flyers that they post in Atlanta every year around MLK. So Atlanta is known for doing these ratchet flyers. And so what ended up happening is that the club decided to post a flyer of King and T.I. It's basically a picture of T.I. choking King. They made a cartoon version and that really pissed off T.I. This is that version here and it's called Sunday fucking fun day. And he's basically here choking out King. And then on top of that, they made a second flyer and it says R&B Wednesday, sing, sip or get choked out. So basically they're using the situation that King and T.I. went through the other day as food for fodder. So T.I. was not feeling this and he ended up pulling up to the club. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Ain't nothing to happen. Ain't nobody taking no money. Ain't nobody coming in the motherfucker. Ain't no party until I get straight. My bad, bro. Ain't nobody coming in the motherfucker until I get straight. Ain't nobody getting nothing until I get straight. Uh, you wanna see it? You wanna show it to him or should I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give him one more photo. Somebody show it to him. 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 So you guys just saw that so ti went off and that's what a lot of people are reporting about you know ti aka the king of wakanda aka ti chala we can't do this here this is wakanda it's sacred must be protected um so they're saying you know he went off he popped off on the club and people are mixed with it a lot of people agree with him other people are saying that ti is doing too much he acts like he runs the whole atlanta now, what's very interesting is that if you guys don't know, this event was supposed to take place on the 29th, okay? Everybody's thinking that this went down today. But T.I., King, and Domani ended up going to that club on Wednesday. And they ended up putting out a new flyer of T.I. and King, and they went there to go perform. So this whole situation to me is coming off kind of weird that they're constantly being viral for like just all these little things. Because like I said, most people feel like T.I. went off and that was the end of it. No, that was old. That was from a few days ago. T.I. actually went there to go perform. Y'all go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so you guys just saw that video of them going to the same club to perform. So now on top of that, what's very interesting is that King decided to clap back, you know, at Charleston White, because Charleston White was talking mess about him the other day. So King basically said, niggas better mind their business and stay out the mix. A hundred. So that's what he wrote towards Charleston White. And of course, Charleston White has a respond for King. So y'all go ahead and check this out. It's written by Lil' King. Yeah, Lil' King told me I better stay out of his, him and his family business or else uh, he gonna stand on business. And I'm sitting here thinking, uh, why does Lil' Yellow Mo keep making threats toward me? He ready to go to jail. Then I think to myself, that boy ain't ready to go to jail. That boy sucked a pacifier till he was 12 years old. He had a blicky. <laughs> that boy was a pacifier. That's why his teeth so big. Yeah, that's why them teeth be. I stop. That's why you don't let them kids suck their thumb. You don't let them suck their thumb. And you don't let them put that pacifier in their goddamn mouth. Because they go buck their teeth out like that boy. That's, the, that's why the boy my so got I be trying to figure out all this time why that boy my so big. Yeah, yeah, all the mother kids got regular my <laughs> All the mother kids got regular side my They got a regular side. That's that's what makes the boy look so funny. That big my Austin on business. I don't give a fuck who it is. Austin on business. <laughs> I'm just pacify your mouth at 12. Then we know it too. I'm going Hey, listen. No, listen. <laughs> Little red boy, you. <laughs> you had to lick it in your mouth to 12. <laughs> Buck teeth. Buck teeth. You know why they had to go get some motherfucking me? Uh, all white teeth is in your mouth. Yeah, they could leave them real teeth in your mouth, boy. <laughs> you just, uh, nigga, I ain't said nothing wrong. Why you fucking with me again? You did this. You made the family hustle uh, public. Yeah, you made the family business show business, nigga. You ain't had to do this. You didn't have to get on that motherfucking podcast and tell her you was over there with your white grandmama. It's clearly, we can see, you were raised with the white granny and not the black granny. We know T.I. Mama wouldn't have played that nigga play. Yeah, 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 you know that them white people. We got to knock over stuff, knock stuff off the table. Yeah, with no repercussions and consequences. Now you got a little repercussions and consequences. Now you don't know how that. Bruh, just stay out line. If you ain't gonna stay out line, go on show us where you from then. Go on crash out, young boy. Go on crash out then, Kane. And show us you from where you trying to show us you from. Don't tell us, show us. All right, y'all just saw what Charleston White had to say about King. You know, their little back and forth. So now what's very crazy is that Tiny is now going viral. It's like the whole family's going viral for something. Tiny and T.I. have taken kind of a break from the internet, especially T.I. It's very interesting that they've been going viral the last four days over the littlest things. So now the Shade Room is reporting that Tiny Harris shuts down rumors that T.I. isn't King's father. So a lot of people are saying because King does not look anything like T.I., you know, unlike Domani, you know, Major and uh, Messiah, they're insinuating that, you know, that's not King's dad. So this is what Tiny said. She said, man, this is the biggest bullshit ever. No disrespect, but I don't even know Bimmy like that. I was reminded of who he was. Quit playing with us for clickbait. So the person that um, made the blog post said, oh, wow, did y'all know T.I. allegedly may not be King's biological father? So I definitely think that that is extremely messy. Um, yeah, King does not look like T.I. at all. I guess he looks more like Tiny or Tiny side of the family. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not us to sit there and determine paternity of this child. I'm sure all that was taken care of way back when. You know, so it is kind of sad that people are just trying to make up rumors for clicks and views. I also feel like, you know what I'm saying, one, they are taking advantage of this viral situation. And I get that. But part of me feels like, was this stage, was this whole thing, you know, just a ploy to promote, you know, the podcast and to promote the club appearance and to promote the new singles? Because it went from everybody fighting to now everything's about music. And so King just released this video about two hours ago. Y'all can go ahead and check this out. Hey, how y'all doing? I appreciate everybody that uh, reposting the support and um, the new single, new song. 
me and my brother. Um, for those that uh, can't find can't find it on Apple Music and um, other streaming platforms, um, I had uploaded that song myself, and um, I ain't do it in in the, in the right time of I sh- when I should have. But it's it's gonna be up up today, um, sometime during the day on all streaming platforms. So. Um, until then, y'all can go to my SoundCloud. Y'all can go to my SoundCloud, uh, Kids Sand Archives, and um, go listen to it. I appreciate everybody. Um, if y'all ain't heard it, if y'all waiting on to get the album music, um, it'll be there shortly. I appreciate it. Love y'all. Bryce, you guys just saw that video of King. So, like I said, this entire situation is very interesting. I don't think the fight was staged per se, I think that was real and raw. Um, I don't think you script something like that, but I do definitely feel like the club situation and some of the other situations, but I am definitely side eyeing him going up to the club and going off only for him to mysteriously perform at the same club a day later. I don't know. I just find that really, really interesting. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning T.I. King and the Harris family. Once again, trending all over social media for their viral moments. So let me know your thoughts. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Feel free to hit this video with a like. And most importantly, please make sure that you're still subscribed to this channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.